after leading the 28-boat Amoka fleet since last Monday morning and holding a margin of over 300 miles over second place, French skipper Charlie Dalen completed an emphatic victory on the 3,200 nautical miles New York Vendée Le Sab Dillon solo race across the North Atlantic. Charlie Dalen said. I'm really happy, we won and that's what counts. It was a great crossing, it feels good to win. It was the last rehearsal before the Vendée Globe, and so an important race to show the competition that I am here, I am present. I used the lessons from the outward race to New York particularly in my sleep and self-management. I found me level aboard this great boat in all conditions. Upwind and downwind. It was really a great race, I had a lot of fun. It all happened three days after the start with this trough to cross and then this front. I managed to pass while most were still caught by this system. A man aged to pass it and not get blocked or sucked back into it, the wind shifted, I was on the right side, it didn't matter much. After that, I continued to sail with a high intensity to stay in what is a Vondi globe rhythm over the long term by managing my sleep and my sail changes. And then I attacked until the end. I was still hitting 30 knots a few hours from the finish. The idea was really not to let up from start to finish and that's what I did. I sailed with my foot flat on the floor and there is no structural problems, which is good. The skipper of the Verdure designed Amoka, Massif Sani Provoyance, broke the finish line off Le Sab Dillon on the French Atlantic coast, off the Vondi region, at 23.44 30 hours local time, on a beautiful mellow early summer night. His elapsed time for the course is 10 days 3 hours 44 minutes 30 seconds, since leaving the start line set some 90 miles offshore of New York, on Wednesday the 29th of May. Between last Sunday and Monday, Germany's Boris Herman, Malaysia Sea Explorer, and Winner Dalen, were the only two solo skippers to break through a problematic low-pressure trough. As soon as they emerged into the brisk southerly breezes on the other side they built a lead which simply grew and grew whilst all their rivals were left languishing in the mixed-up air, unable to pass the weather hurdle which was effectively moving east with them. Dalen, who celebrated his 40th birthday in the later stages of the Outwards Transat Sea I Crace to New York, adds to a long catalogue of podium finishes on his CV. Most memorably he was first to finish the last Vondi Globe solo round the world race in January 2021, after an immaculately executed first solo circumnavigation. But he was displaced to second place by compatriot Yannick Bestaven who was given a time compensation for helping in the search for stricken Kevin Escoffier who had to abandon his sinking Amoka in the Southern Ocean. Dalen was the perfect sportsman, accepting the result with elegance, empathy and understanding, never showing an ounce of frustration. Dalen won 2022's race to Iceland, the Vendi Arctic, and also triumphed on 2021's double-handed transat Jack Vab Normandy Le Havre sailing with Jan Elis. After taking fourth on the outward solo race, his eight-hour deficit behind winner Johan Richem largely attributed to a technical issues with his steering which required him to slow at a critical phase, Dalen rested up in the Caribbean, wing-foiling and spending time with his family. Looking tanned and fit on the dock in Brooklyn Dalen declared. My goal is to sail hard and go for victory. If there is a little psychological gain, so much the better, it's no or never. This was his tactical move and masterstroke. It's Dalen's tactical finesse, his analysis, perhaps just the right amount of risk which sets him apart. Whilst rival Herman, who was always north of Dalen, climbed away to the far north Dalen stuck to the middle course and built a margin. I put the bow down to accelerate and get out of the system. Initially the break with the others didn't amount to much. But in the fleet, everyone saw Massif Sani Provoyance escape. It was a matter of five miles, five miles which will turn into 500 miles. Jeremy Bayou, of Chiral, won the race in 2016, the only other time it has been contested. His outstanding triumph, only his second race since he had to miss last autumn's transats due to a medical issue, enhances his rank as one of the outstanding favourites to this winter to go one better and win the Vondi Globe.
Bonjour à tous, euh, un, petit mot, un, petit mot, un petit point à bord de Charal, euh, euh, déjà bravo à Charlie pour sa victoire, euh, voilà. euh, on n'a pas regardé longtemps ensemble, euh, euh, voilà, il a dû se sentir un petit peu seul, mais en tout cas voilà, c'est quand, quand même une belle victoire qui compte, donc euh, bravo à toi Charlie. Et je ne sais pas si bon, bon, c'est arrivé, mais il ne va pas tarder derrière. Donc, bravo à lui aussi. Et voilà, nous, c'est notre, notre course. Euh, un championnat un peu, un peu à part. Et, et l'idée, c'est de finir en tête. Euh... Ah, voilà. Voilà, devant, il euh, y a une grosse masse nuageuse. Ça, c'est au vent, ça. Et là, je ressors de ça, là. Et là-dedans, c'était un bazar à son nom. Ah, ah vu comme ça, ça a l'air joli. Hein. En, en vrai, euh... vrai c'est joli, mais... Pour naviguer là-dedans, c'est pas évident. Donc, euh... ah, il faut sauter d'un nuage à l'autre et... et puis être au réglage des voiles en parallèle. Donc, euh... Euh, voilà. Mais on lâche pas. Il euh, faut rester à cette position-là, en tête de la... de la flotte là. Et, et voilà. <rire> euh, voilà. C'est toujours facile à dire. Il euh, y a un peu de pain sur la planche. Donc euh, je vous laisse. Euh, et voilà, et bientôt. Quelle pipelette alors.